Make sure you know how exponential functions work for this question. Jessica opened a bank account that earns 2% interest compounded annually. Her initial deposit was $100 and she uses the expression $100 times x to the power of t to find the value of the account after t years. Jessica's friend, Tishan, found an account that earns 2.5% interest compounded annually. Tishan made an initial deposit of $100 into this account at the same time Jessica made a deposit of $100 into her account. After 10 years, how much more money will Tishan's initial deposit have earned than Jessica's initial deposit? Round your answer to the nearest cent and ignore the dollar sign when gridding your response. If you watched my previous video on question number 37, which you can find in the caption, we know that x is just when we multiply the year's balance by at the end of each year. So for Jessica, that's 1 plus 0 0.02 or 1.02 since her account earns 2% interest compounded annually. For Tishan, x is 1 plus 0 0.025 or 1 1.025 since his account earns 2.5% interest compounded annually. Let's see how much each account will have at the end of 10 years. For Jessica, we will have $100 times 1.02 to the power of 10 which is approximately $121.90. For Tishan, we will have $100 times 1.025 to the power of 10, which is approximately $128.01. If we subtract $121.90, the amount in Jessica's account at the end of 10 years, from $128.01, the amount in Tishan's account at the end of 10 years, we will get $6.11. So Tishan's initial deposit earned $6.11 more than Jessica's initial deposit. Therefore, 6.11 is the correct answer.